Hi, this is Nick from MSPD Africa with a quick video on how to set your generator integration settings on a single Fox 30 kilowatt inverter. First, we're going to have to go into our settings. We will then put our password of four zeros in. We will then scroll down to features and then we can scroll up to diesel gen. In diesel gen, we will need to enable this function. We will then press the tick button again to ask us do we want to set to we then get a success message. We can then go set our start SOC value for when we want our generator to start. In this case, I have set it to 30%. So when the battery reaches 30%, it will trigger the generator to start. We then can set the stop SOC of our generator. In this case, I want the generator to charge the batteries to 70%. So we can set 70%. We then have a generator power limit. This is the maximum limit that the inverter will draw from the generator, and we recommend setting 8% of the generator's capacity. So in this case, say for instance, I have a 12 kilowatt, I'm gonna set roughly 10 kilowatts, and then set that and get success. We can then go back. We then get judge time. This time frame is the time between when the inverter has sent a start signal to the generator. It will count down this amount of time, and if it has not received a um, running signal from the generator, it will then disconnect its start or stop signal accordingly. We then get a minimal interval time. This time is the time period from when the generator stops, the inverter will not be able to send a start signal to the generator until this time period has elapsed. That is how you set generator integration on a single Fox 30 kilowatt inverter.